Hi everybody. Today it is Sonia with um, the book The Bobsy Twins at School. We are going to go on chapter nine and I'm here with my what? Chapter five. Chapter five, sorry. And um he and I have my daughter here. Kelly, would you like to say hi? Hi. <laughs> So, um, let's get started. And by the way, guys, this is my real mommy. Uh, I was just pretending. You don't want to read for us tonight? Sure. Let me sit down. Okay. Okay, oh. and I don't actually need these glasses. No, don't you don't need the glasses. It's actually, true. Actually, I'll get my own. I'll Yay, get I get to be read to tonight. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to get my glasses. I'll be ready. Okay, you know we're on video here. I know. Okay. Okay. Here's my glasses. Okay. So, the Bobsy Twins at school. Okay, so, let's get me in the frame and not my mom. So, where are we? And I'm not the best at reading, so we're here. Mm-hmm. While, while mm -hmm. Mr. Bobsy put the small twins to bed mart and nan led the dog into the barn sorry my hair's weird. Mm -hmm. be be behind their house it was used now as a guard garage, garage beauty nan spread spread an old quilt, quilt in one corner, and the beautiful dog lay lay down on it. He s seemed to know that he was to stay there and wagged his tail constantly. Contentedly. Contentedly. Then Bart... And then lost the door and hurry, hurried into the house for a very, very late su supper. Directly after they went to bed, plan planning to get up early the next day to play, play with their new pet, but Flossie and Freddy, Freddy arose first, and after dressing quiet, quickly, they asked their mother where the dog was when she told them they hurried to the barn. Freddy opened the door and out down did the, the big white dog barking in delight and almost knocked, knocking the twins down. What shall we can call him? Asked Freddy. Maybe we'd, we'd, we'd better name him Snoop, like our cat, I yeah, good guess. Mm -hmm. Snoop is very calming home. Never coming home. Is never coming home. No, we must must mustn't mustn't call him Snoop," said Flossie. "Someday, our cat might come back, and he'd want his own name again. Mm -hmm. Well, call your our dog." Snap, cause see how his eyes snap, and when Bart snapped his fingers last night, the dog stood up. That's a good name, dis decided Freddy. Snoop and Snap. I wonder if we can make Snap. Stand on his high behind legs the way he did last 
night. Ask him do, to do it, Flossie suggest, suggested. Stand up, Freddy shouted. And once the dog with a bark stood up on his behind legs and walked around the children, laughing. I wonder if we can make him do any other tricks, asked Flossie. I'm sorry. Um, where am I? I'm going to try, said her brother. What trick do you want him to do? Make him lie, lay down and roll over? All right, spoke Freddy. Now snap, lie down and roll over. At once the big dog did so and then sprained up. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Spring, okay, I, I'm tired now. Okay. I'm tired, so my mom's going to read now. That was pretty great, Kaylee. All right. It's not... So now, the rest of chapter okay. four, we're um, switching. Um, my eyes. Oh, you get the tired mommy look because mommy didn't put glasses on today. I mean, uh, makeup on today. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, mom. Okay. Yes, dear. We're still videoing here. I know. Okay. Oh, I have lip. I did put lipstick oh. on. I did put lipstick on. Just no eye stuff, you know. Okay, so and we continue on. At once the big dog did so, and then sprang up with a bark and a wag of his tail, as much as to ask, "What shall I do next?" Oh, isn't he beautiful? Cried Flossie. I wonder who taught him those tricks. Let's see if he can do any more. Said Freddie. There's a barrel hoop over there. Maybe he'll jump through it if we hold it up. Oh, let's do it, cried Flossie as she ran to get the hoop. Snap barked at the sight of it and capered about as though he knew just what it was for and was pleased at the chance to do more of his tricks. The hoop was so large that Freddie could not hold it steady, so Flossie took hold of one side. When they were in position, Freddie called, Come on now, Snap, jump! Snap barked, ran back a little way, turned around, and raced forward. He jumped into the air and shot straight through the hoop, landing quite a way off. My gracious sakes alive, called a voice. It was Sam, who had come out to work in the garden. That's a regular circus trick, that's what it is. Sam held a stick in his hand. Before he knew what was happening, Snap raced up and jumped over the stick. Oh, look, cried Flossie. Another trick, exclaimed Freddy. My goodness, cried Sam, that beats anything I ever saw. Snap ran about barking in delight. He seemed happy to be doing tricks. Let's go tell Daddy and the others, said Freddy. They'll want to know about this. Mr. Bobbsey had not yet gone to his office at the big lumber yard he owned. He listened to what the little twins had to tell him about Snap, who lay on the lawn. As before, Freddy said he might have come from the circus train. But we can keep him, can't we, begged Flossie? Mm, I'll have to see about that, said Mr. Bobbsey slowly. I suppose the circus people will want him back, for he must be very valuable. Perhaps some clown trained him. But if we can't have Snoop, our cat, we ought to have a dog, asserted Freddy. I'll try to get Snoop back, said Mr. Bobbsey. I'll have one of my men go down along the tracks today and inquire of the railroad men. Since Snoop hasn't come back here, maybe he's wandering about down there. And don't forget, Mrs. Bobbsey reminded him, to get in touch with the circus and find out from that fat lady if she knows anything about our silver cup. Later that morning, Bert was out in the front yard, watering the grass with a long hose, when along came Danny Rugg. He stopped. Bert heaved a sigh, wondering what was going to happen. Danny went to the same school as Bert, but few of the boys and none of the girls liked Danny. He was often rough and would hit them or want to fight and would play mean tricks. Hello, Bert, exclaimed Danny, leaning on the front gate. I hear you have a trick circus dog here. Who told you? asked Bert. Oh, Jack Parker. He says you found him. He found us, explained Bert, spraying a bed of geraniums. He followed us after the circus wreck. Well, you took them all the same. I know who owns them, too, and I'm going to tell the man that you took him. Oh, is that so? asked Bert. Well, we think he belongs to the circus, and my father is trying to find out about it, so you needn't trouble yourself. He doesn't belong to any circus, went on Danny. That dog belongs to Mr. Peterson, who lives over in Millville. He lost a trick dog, and he advertised for it. He's going to give a reward. I'm going to tell him and get the money. You can't take our dog away, cried Freddy, running up. Don't you dare, Danny Rugg. 
Yes, I will, exclaimed Danny, who often teased the smaller Bobsy twins. You won't have that dog after today. Don't mind him, Freddie, said Bert in a low voice. He's trying to scare you. Oh, I am, eh? cried Danny. I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I'll tell on you for keeping a dog that don't belong to you, and you'll be arrested, all of you. Freddie looked worried, and tears came into his eyes. Bert saw them and became angrier than ever with Danny. Don't cry, Freddy, said Bert. Look, I'll let you squirt the hose and you can pretend to be a fireman. Freddy loved to play fireman. The small boy wiped his eyes as he took the nozzle from his older brother. He carefully aimed the water on the flower beds. Well, look at Freddy trying to act real big, snickered Danny. Thinks he's a real fireman. I am too, shouted Freddy, now becoming very angry at Danny. He turned around, ready to argue with the big boy, forgetting about the hose in his hand. Ugh! cried Danny as the full force of the water hit him in the face. Oh, cried Freddy. Bert grabbed the hose from his little brother and turned it away from the older boy. He didn't mean to do that, Danny, Bert said. He forgot about the hose. He did it on purpose, shouted Danny, soaking wet. I'll pay you back for this, Freddy Bobsy. And with that, he pushed open the gate and ran toward Freddy. There's bullies everywhere, right? Hmm. Well, that is the end of chapter four. No, that's the end of chapter four. It's late and we're tired, but we'll go on. Sorry, the end of chapter five. That's the end of chapter five. Tomorrow is chapter six. Good night, all. Bye. Bye. My hair is so bad.